Mike, we're going to start with you on this one. How do you work with software vendors to understand the changes that will be involved in any upgrade so you can take the necessary steps? How do you make sure you get notified in sufficient time to do what you'll need to do internally? Yeah, and my comments here are more directed towards um, what I would call our, our primary vendors. Um, obviously, we all have hundreds of vendors that are within the space, and, and many of them, you know, their vendors, at the their staff actually perform the training and uh, to, to staff, particularly in um, niche de departmental areas. So, you know, that sort of takes care of itself in, in many instances. Um, although through our change control processes, we're aware of any upgrades or enhancements that are taking place. Uh, a check mark is always, is there training taking place and who's training on it? And normally it's the, the vendor in those instances. But you know, I look at our, our primary EHR and lab and other clinical revenue cycle type systems. Um, you know, the, the notification is pretty straightforward through partnership, right? You, you get scheduled, you know when you're gonna receive your upgrade, you know the path that you're gonna go on in the process. Um, and then you build in your, your training component as part of that process. So um, I think with good relationships with your vendors, I don't think we've experienced any major surprises along the way uh, and making sure that the right materials are uh, reviewed ahead of time with our clinical and revenue cycle committees. Um, and then based upon what we're going to accept as part of any upgrade, uh, then we, we put and gather the, the right training materials and whether it's virtual, whether it's through micro learnings, whether it's through our knowledge management system, then it flows through. But um, I thought this was a, a pretty good topic that you, you brought to light. Um, and I, again, uh, I think the vendors have gotten much better at recognizing your point earlier that if we have enough insight, we have enough time and we have enough partnership with operations and IS, um, this shouldn't be a big surprise to anybody uh, from a training perspective.